Hi everybody, I'm Jamie Troll, your favorite CPA, financial literacy coach, and profit strategist. So today we're gonna to be talking about business bank accounts. Those of you guys who have been around for a while know I'm really big on everybody having a business bank account. But one of the things that holds people back and holds business owners and solopreneurs and freelancers back from opening a business bank account is the fact that there can often be a cost associated with it. Typically, we're used to personal bank accounts being free, but for some reason, especially when we're talking about the big banks, they tend to charge for these types of accounts. And even if they don't charge a monthly charge, they might have minimums or fees per transfers or various different ways that they make money off of you and you're hit with fees month after month after month. So I've done a lot of research for you guys, a lot of research both for myself and for you. I have to be honest, it was <laughs> mostly for myself to start, but then I wanted to share with you guys as well what I found out. I previously was using Aslo. You guys may know that Aslo closed earlier this year in 2021, and so that put me on the hunt for a brand new bank because I really did love Aslo. So when I was looking for a bank, there were a few things that were key. Number one, I want it to be low cost, but ideally free and not have a whole bunch of things that um, that they would throw at you that you didn't even know about and had to track how many different transactions and what your limits are and what your balances were. I didn't want any of that because who has the time, okay? So that was really, really key to me. I also wanted it to be really tech savvy. I like to do everything on my phone. I want it to have a good interface. I want it to be able to easily um, in, integrate with various different apps and things that I use. So that was really key to me as well. I wanted to have good customer service. We all know what bad customer service feels like. I really wanted good customer service. And I had one thing on my wish list that Aslo had that I had a really hard time finding, but I did find it. And that was the ability to actually separate out money into different, call them reserve accounts or whatever you want to call them, basically different buckets so that you could segregate that money away from your uh, general balance. So this is great for business owners because instead of opening a whole bunch of different accounts, right? Maybe you're using Profit First or something like that. Instead of having to open up a whole bunch of different accounts, you can instead um, use these different reserve accounts um, to put that money in. So if you wanna save for taxes, if you wanna save for money that you're gonna pay yourself later, if you want to save for you know a rainy day fund for your business, which I recommend that people have, right? Whatever it is that you wanna save for, you can actually put it kind of in this envelope system. And that's really hard to find with a business bank, you guys. I can tell you as someone who has been searching high and low, especially with a free business bank. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my comparison, but let's get quickly to my bank recommendation at the end of the day. I recommend very strongly Bank Novo. I have signed up with an account for them. I've had an account with them since January now. They have been phenomenal. I have really no complaints as to how things have gone, okay? And I really love the functionality. I love the interface. It had everything that I wanted and it was fully transparent pricing, i.e. it is truly free, you guys. It is completely, completely free. There are no hidden fees and charges and minimums and things like that. It only takes $50 to open it up an account. It takes less than five minutes, you guys, to go in and do the application to open up a business bank account. And it works for people, even if you don't have an EIN, maybe you're a sole proprietor or a freelancer, it is perfect for you because you can go in and use your social security number. If you have an LLC or a corporation, you can also still use Novo. You would just be opening it up with your EIN. So I'll tell you who I compared Bank Novo to. I started with some of the big banks, right? Um, and there are a lot of various different big banks. You guys know who they are, right? I started with my personal bank and went to some of these massive banks and almost all of them either charged for business accounts or they had various fees and minimums that you had to pay. Personally, I don't think that big banks are a great place necessarily for business banking. The only reason I can see that making sense is if you've got a business that is all over the place and you deal in a lot of cash and you need to have branches in a lot of different areas, then that can make sense. But if not, if you're a small business owner and you don't really deal a lot in cash, 
um, then I think that there are other ways to go. Another one to look at is community banks. So ask around in your specific area to other business owners if they have a community bank that they love. They tend to be better from a customer service standpoint and also better from a fee standpoint. But here, still the ones around me uh, still had various different fees that were involved and it wasn't completely free, which I did not love. That's what got me looking originally at business banking that's online. These have been coming up more and more now, but basically they're banking platforms that usually partner with an FDIC insured bank. So in this case, Bank Nova partners with Middlesex, um, but depending on the bank, they may have a different partner. Those partners are always FDIC insured up, in, up to a certain limit for Bank Nova, that's $250,000. Um, and that's really, really important. You wanna make sure that you're going with an FDIC insured bank and you wanna make sure that it actually is a business type account. That's important important, not a personal type account that you're using for business that's against uh, regulations, banking regulations, and you don't want to do it. So when I was reviewing these different business bank accounts, I looked at Bluevine, I looked at Radius Bank, I looked at Lilly, and I looked at Novo. Those were the ones that I really narrowed it down to in my search. And they all seemed really great. Um, they all seem to have the functionality that I needed. I just felt like Bank Novo really went above and beyond. So from a customer service perspective, they were the ones that responded. They responded the quickest. They answered my questions really well, just in that decision-making phase. And they also had introduced the idea of the reserve account, which the other ones didn't really have something specifically like that. And that was something that I had had at Aslo and really wanted to have. And so um, I talked with them a little bit about it. They told me they had one reserve account at the time and that they were working on the functionality to be able to offer multiple different reserve accounts, which is really what I wanted, right? You have one bank account, but then you can actually uh, save for various different things. Again, if you use Profit First or any type of formula like that, I teach one as well. I have a profit planning formula in my financial fitness formula program, um, whereby you actually save money for various different things that you uh, are gonna need later, right? So that's gonna be really, really key for saving for emergencies and saving for taxes. So that was something really important to me and that was the big feature. And they have since rolled out to where you can now have up to five reserve accounts. And let me tell you, it is amazing. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things in there. So if you go to the reserve account functionality and I've kind of blurred out what my uh, numbers are because y'all don't need to know. <laughs> Y'all don't mean to need to be nosy, okay? But I'll show you what accounts that I actually um, save in. And this goes along with, uh, if any of you have taken my financial fitness formula course, you know my profit planning methodology or you might've heard me talking about it. I basically align it with that where I'm saving for things that align with me and with my goals for my business and my personal life. And so I save for taxes, of course. I have some saved for fun because you guys, we need to have a little bit of fun in life. Maybe that's a trip or something that you wanna take. I also save for charitable giving. I think it's really important for businesses to give back to uh, the people that they are serving and to their communities. And also I save for the future. So that is money that eventually gets transferred over to my SEP IRA when I actually affect that transfer. And then I have a combination because I could only have five accounts and I really wanted six, but I'll take five. I put together my rainy day and my opportunity fund. My opportunity fund is basically business savings. So that's money that I'm saving up to take, take advantage of opportunities in the future. And that might be hiring someone, that might be a marketing campaign, that might be a program that I wanna take, um, but I have money saved for those specific reasons. Um, so that is what my, my reserves look like. Yours can be anything that you want them to be, but I love the fact that I can actually see what my spendable balance is, and then I can see what my balance is that has been kind of you know, put aside and reserved for that I shouldn't touch. And let me tell you, it's just so much easier to do that than try to track it on a spreadsheet. I've done that before as well. It's not a ton of fun. Um, and this way you can really log in and you can put it right when you log in on your, um, on your app and see here's how much total I have, but here's how much spendable balance I have. So that uh, again, if you are doing profit first or, or a methodology um, like my profit planning, that is really, really useful to know how much you have left, okay? 
So that is my favorite, favorite feature of Bank Novo. I can, I could not find this anywhere else, you guys. And I, I couldn't, I could find it in personal accounts, but business banking accounts really did not have this structure. Other businesses, you'd have to open up multiple different accounts and that's confusing and then potentially have fees and minimums and all kinds of things. Um, and so I really loved the streamlined approach to this. That's what I love about Novo in general. Everything is super duper streamlined, easy to use. I also think it has a lot of great perks when you sign up. And this was something I didn't expect. I didn't even know it when I first signed up for Bank Novo, but it had a ton of amazing perks in their, um, in their system that you could sign up for and take advantage of. So that was something completely unexpected and it was a great surprise to me. Okay, so really quickly, let's look at these perks that I just talked about because there are some really good ones on here that I think are worth knowing about when you sign up for the account. Um, so there's various different perks from cashback on booking.com. This one's a great one, Stripe $20,000 in fee-free card processing. I do believe you have to be a new Stripe account. Most of these are for new accounts. Um, Google Cloud. Now I will say their Gusto and their QuickBooks deals are okay. I have better ones. So <laughs> make sure to check my links below uh, for my affiliate links where I'm partnering with Gusto and QuickBooks and I have special deals with them where you can actually get a lot more than what they're offering here. Um, but some of their other things are really useful too. So we've got HubSpot and Zendex, $150 in Google ads. Um, some GoDaddy, I mean, there's a lot, there's even $150 in Snapchat ads that you can grab um, by signing up for Novo. So that was just due and I really didn't expect it. So um, that was something that was a nice surprise for me. I will tell you my two kind of drawbacks because I wanna make sure that I'm giving you a full, um, a, a fully independent review, right? The two draw drawbacks that I see, number one, if you're cash-based, that is not gonna be a great fit for you. Um, and the second thing is if you are someone that wants to be earning interest, there are no interest because it's a checking account, right? Most business checking accounts are not gonna earn interest. Sometimes you can find one that will, um, but they're fewer and far between. And let's be honest, interest rates are super duper low right now anyway, so it's not like you're really gonna make a whole heck of a lot. But it would be nice if they had a feature where you could earn interest for Bank Novo. Those are really it. That's really the only things that I've run into um, with Bank Novo that haven't been my favorite, but everything else has been fantastic. The customer service has been great. Um, and I highly, highly recommend them. So go to jamietroll.com forward slash Novo. Yes, it's an affiliate link, but I do use them. Um, and it helps me to be able to create more resources for you guys if you use my affiliate links. And I so, so, so appreciate it. Um, it helps support my little small business as well, and it doesn't cost you a dime. So that's a win-win for everybody. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna know more. I do videos on different recommendations from time to time. Like I said, I have some additional links down below that are affiliate links, but they are some deals that you can't get elsewhere. So you wanna check out my QuickBooks Online deals. That is what I recommend for an accounting software to track your income and expenses. I also recommend Gusto for payroll. They are the best of the best of the best. And I have some great deals with both of them. So go check those out. I hope that I see you guys next time go check out Bank Novo. I know that you will love it and let me know about down below if you have any questions at all and I will see you next time.